Top 10 Tips From Some Of The Top YouTubers Choose the right topic, for the right audience, you can be charismatic, funny, and smart but if you don't provide value, your videos are useless. It's not about you or what you can gain. You need to focus on your audience, not yourself. Find your perfect audience for YouTube. Before you start working on your first script or storyboard, you must answer this question. Who is your audience? Knowing your audience will guide nearly every decision you make about your video. Knowing general information is helpful, but think about your specific audience. What are their problems? What will they learn from your video? How does your video benefit them? Jeremy Vest, Director of Marketing for Vidic, suggests that listening is critical because if you don't listen to your audience then dot you're not going to serve them very well. However, it's not all about just seeking what the viewer wants. Niche is good. Broad is bad. Focus your content on helping the viewer achieve their goals. If you're selling software, you need to make sure your video helps the viewer learn exactly what they need to be successful. Throw perfection out the window. Just start. It's really that simple. Start by asking yourself a few questions. Will my audience not clearly understand the purpose of the video if these changes aren't made? Will the video, as is, achieve your goal? Does the video contain something incorrect that would seriously impact the viewer? What is the worst that will happen if the current version is released as is? Can the time that could be spent continuing to edit be put to better use on another project? Two key ways to rank your YouTube videos are Make content that is good for the users Make content that is good for search engines At the end of the day, you want your content to be found. SEO can be a hugely complicated endeavor, but you don't have to do everything at once. The creators we talked with made a few easy suggestions. Andrew Can, of TubeBuddy, recommends that you make your content focused on a specific topic and niches, which will help your content be more searchable. Many people spend time on broad terms that have so much competition they're never going to show up for, in search, he said. If you show up on the race day, and you're, not, a runner and you've practiced once, you can't expect to win. So by practicing, by understanding that being more specific helps you be more discoverable, it helps you win. What should I make a YouTube video about? The good news is that there are tons of ways to find YouTube video ideas that your audience is searching for. Here are some tips from Gordisman of the best places you can use to get inspired and find highly relevant topics for your specific audience. 1. YouTube Search YouTube Search is one of the best ways to find what people are looking for. When you come up with a content idea, do a quick YouTube search and see what comes back. Then look at the search results and decide if it's a saturated area or there's room to create a unique, valuable version. You want to choose topics that you're passionate about and that are relevant to your audience. 2. Comment Section Viewers often suggest additional topics or ask questions that suggest areas of interest for creating additional content. So start by looking at a competitor's YouTube channel and start mining the comments. 3. Communities and Groups Whether it's Twitter, a Facebook group, or a membership group, find like-minded people who will inspire you and help you out along the way. Don't discourage yourself by assuming you must go at it alone. Find a group that you can bounce ideas off of and ask questions. You might even come away with some different, and better, video topics to start with. 4. Ask your audience. If you already have an audience, even a small one, it's worth asking them what types of content they would like to see. This is a surefire way to figure out what your audience wants to know, learn, and watch. It can be easy to get overwhelmed and feel like you don't have the right tools to create your video. It's fun to have high-end equipment and there is no question that better equipment can produce a better quality video. Keep in mind, too, 
that highly specialized equipment that can be complex to run, and requires considerable time and training to master. If you're still worried about what gear you should use, Brian Fanzo, of iSocial Fans has some advice. He suggests baby steps, start with your phone, and then move to a web camera, then move to professional gear. These tools can help you learn the basics of video creation, and help you to practice good techniques that will be beneficial no matter what gear you use. Here are some of the basic gear, outside of your phone, you may want to consider if you are going to create high quality YouTube videos. 1. Microphone Whether for your mobile device, input directly into your camera, or even a digital recorder, a microphone will improve the overall quality of you your video. A decent mic doesn't have to be expensive, but it is well worth it. 2. Screen Recorder and Video Editor When you choose screen recording software, pick a tool with built-in recording, editing, and sharing features. It will save you time and let you do all of your work in one tool. Recording your screen is a great way to make a YouTube video without a camera. At TechSmith, we think Camtasia is the perfect video editing software for beginners. 3. Lighting If you're recording camera video or even a webcam, video lighting will make a big difference in how you look, and the overall quality. 4. Camera or webcam Cameras can be large investments, ranging from hundreds to thousands of dollars. While DSLRs or other high-end cameras can drastically improve the look of your video, they also add a ton of settings and options that need to be managed, increasing the complexity of shooting your video. Here are all kinds of videos that people create on YouTube. The best video you can start with is an instructional video. A simple tutorial or how-to video is a great way to get your feet wet. A tutorial video simply answers a question someone asked. It could be how to freeze paints in Excel or how to change your oil. Either way, you're simply sharing your expert knowledge with others. These types of videos are all over YouTube, and with good reason. According to a Pew Research study that surveyed over 4,500 Americans in 2018, 87% of users said that YouTube is important for helping them figure out how to do things they haven't done before. Do you have dog training tips to share? Gather a list of all the questions a dog owner might have and create a series of how-to videos to give them answers. If you are an expert in Photoshop and want to help others get better, a tutorial video or training video would be a great place to start. And if you're a business or entrepreneur, there's no better place to start than a product demo video or explainer video. Now that you know your audience, have your topics planned out, and know what video to make it's time to get started making your video. Write a script or outline. A script may seem pretty formal, but it's a great tool to help you stay focused. Plan out the visuals, shots, angles, graphics, etc., that go along with each line of dialogue. Clean up your desk, and desktop. One of the top mistakes to avoid when you record yourself is to have too much clutter, both on and off the screen. If you're shooting a video at your desk, business, or home you want your environment to be clean and presentable. Next, you'll need to adjust your camera or webcam, and video lighting, if you have them. Avoid recording in front of windows. If you record near a window, avoid recording in front of it. Position yourself next to the window or facing the window. This way, you won't be washed out or become a silhouette. Pro tip, this is also a great way to enhance your lighting, though be careful, as it can be hard to control the amount of light. Position your camera correctly. Tilt your webcam or camera so that it's at eye level and your viewers don't have to look up at you. Stick to the rule of thirds or position yourself in the center of the frame. Pick your favorite screen recorder and walk through your scripts as you record your desktop. Here at TechSmith, we use Camtasia for a lot of our YouTube videos. It's perfect for anyone who needs to make instructional videos on YouTube and we have a ton of help videos to get you started. Your recording can be as simple or complex as you want to make it. 
you can record webcam to give it some personality, create an intro, add music, or simply hit record and share it out. Editing your video can be the most fun and most time-consuming part of the creation process. And for a beginner, it can definitely be the most overwhelming. Here are a few simple edits you can use to get started. 1. Trim Mistakes Often we record a little extra at the beginning and end of a recording. To remove the extra content, drag the end of the clip in. This is called trimming. If you trim too much, drag the video clip back to restore your video. 2. Use Cuts Drag the red or green handle on the playhead to select the area to remove, then click the cut button to remove the section. A stitched line appears, showing you where the cut was made. 3. Add titles, transitions, annotations, and more. Add a level of polish and professionalism to your videos with eye-catching titles, annotations, effects and more. Click and drag them from the Tools panel to the Timeline or Canvas. Video Editing Tips Add a simple intro. Create lower thirds. Add music. Create a compelling outro. A YouTube outro is where you can add specific calls to action to your video. This can also be referred to as the end screen, and it is the last part of your video. There are four different content types available for use in your end screens on YouTube, called elements. These four elements are Video or playlist this allows you to link to a different individual video or a YouTube playlist of multiple videos. Subscribe, this allows you to link to your own channel where a viewer can click to subscribe. Channel, this allows you to link to a different YouTube channel. Link to approved website, this allows you to link to a website outside of YouTube. Target keywords that list videos on Google. Have you noticed more videos popping up in your search results? Google processes 3.5 billion searches per day, and many how to based searches now include YouTube videos directly in the Google search engine result. Make longer videos. Longer videos generally rank higher than shorter ones. Backlinko analyzed 1.3 million YouTube videos and found that the average length of a video on the first page of YouTube is 14 minutes, 50 seconds. YouTube will push longer videos higher in search results. Make sure your keyword is spoken in your video. YouTube transcribes your content, so try and say your main keyword one two times in the script. Make a unique introduction. Retention is everything on. YouTube. Incentivize users to watch as long as possible in your first 10 seconds. Tease out what you're going to talk about and give them a reason to stay and watch your video. Tell users to comment, like, subscribe, and visit your site at the end of the video. If you don't tell them to do it, they probably never will. And if you are creating supportive, helpful content they will be more likely to interact with your YouTube channel. YouTube Ranking Optimization Title, Description, and Thumbnail Get the keyword in the title and description, preferably at the front, but don't forget to make it compelling and click-worthy. It's less about trying to stuff keywords in and more about letting viewers know that your video will help solve what they are looking for. Make your video worthy of a click. Leverage your current audience to build video velocity. The first 48 hours your video goes live are critical. This is where leveraging your current audience plays a big part. You can create a stronger buzz and your views begin to climb through your existing base. Owen Video likes to create video velocity by acquiring views before a video is public and rewarding his followers with exclusive content. As a result, YouTube sees the video as more valuable and it becomes more likely to appear high in the search results.